Hi, this is Tapcat. Welcome back to Marvel's Midnight Suns. We are getting ready to go on another story mission. The best there is. Uh, normally, I, I would have waited at least another mission or so, but um, I was lured by this sweet, sweet loot. We need attack essence, actually. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do this. And uh, I guess that's enough chit chat. Let's uh, let's head out and take care of some business. Defeat all enemies. I will see it then. Fine. Let's add kick. A knockback, rather, excuse me. Okay, two for one sale. I'm always looking out for a bargain, especially since we got the uh, the thing for free as far as card play goes. You okay, Ray? You knock over, baby. He was shifting on the desk and bumped something. I'm not sure what. But it disturbed him quite a bit. Okay. Um, that's the end of the minions, apparently. So, we don't have anything else that's going to knock back. I'm going to get rid of one of these because I just can't see using two gathers like that. Um... Yeah, this is going to be a rough turn, I fear, because uh, I just don't really have, um, I don't really have the means to do much here. Uh, I'm going to have to try to redraw again, I think. Uh, that's fine. Nope, I've already, that's right. I used redraw first on that one card to beef it up, and then I actually did a redraw. So I have two card plays left, and I guess I'm going to do something like this. I'll just heal somebody. Well, okay, never mind. I can... Um, hmm. Can I... No. Okay, so... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do this. Why am I doing that? Because I'm still going to have one card play left with nothing viable to do. And this way, I'm doing my card draw earlier in the turn. You can see what my options are. So I have one true card play left. There's two options, or three options, really. Um, uh, honestly, I have a lot of options now. So I could use Surgical Strike, which um, I could take this guy out, but... 52 damage for 3 heroism. Like, that's kind of a lot. I can get the same 52 damage here, but I won't be KOing anybody. Alternatively, I could use a portal, and I could use... Which is free, by the way, so it doesn't count. And then I could use Forceful Knockback to, um, you know, send him into this guy. That's not terrible. And I'm generating heroism, not using heroism. And then maybe next turn, we get more value out of Gather. Or I draw another Iron Man or card or two. And I, you know, I, I'm able to chain it more. Um, I can't give this knockback yet. Oh, I can't give it forceful knockback. Excuse me. So I think I'm going to do just a vanilla thing here. Well, um, you know, it would really help is if I could see <laughs> what's what. Really? All right, let's, let's do this. All right, so we'll weaken both of these guys. Uh, 
42 points of damage, no heroism. I was going to get 52 points of damage after spending two heroism. I don't know that two that 10 points of damage is worth two heroism. Like, I can use this stupid thing and get 10 points. And that's one hero. You know, see what I'm saying? So. Uh, but we're, we're good. I'm going to go ahead and leave this alone. This was not exactly what I would call a high impact first turn. And we are going to take a bit of a beating here. Okay. See, now I wish I had my heal, but what was I going to do? Okay. Um, I could, you know, use this, but... So I did not draw any Iron Man cards. What kind of bummer is that? On the other hand, look at, look at this. This is what I was talking about. I can literally hit them all, and I'm going to KO three guys. Maybe it's just me. I feel like that was worth waiting for. I like. I don't like that um, this one. I only have one other Iron Man card. That just sucks. So, you know, serious question here. Do I even want to keep this? Because right now, I I don't dare use anything that's going to do him 32 damage. Um, it's a shame we're not going to get a KO out of this. Can I soften these guys up? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. I'm going to leave Surgical Strike alone for the moment. But see, this is great because now I will get a KO and I will have quick. Who designed your armor? Because it looks like junk. Gonna get two KOs. You can tell me that's not good, but I won't believe you. Alright, and we still have our last card play. So this would be pretty worthless right now. There's no way I wanna want to use that um, I think fortify is the pretty obvious option here and we're really building up our freaking heroism I mean if I draw into some way to make that useful like more Iron Man cards or maybe that combo attack I'm gonna lose this Well, if these are both minions, see, here we go. That's what I needed. Also, uh, at least now I can chain four. So, I feel like... Um, hold on. Let me, let me actually think this through. So, even this won't kill him. Well, let's just do it. Let's get our big hit out of the way. Okay. So... There's still three guys on their feet. I mean, again, these guys are soap bubbles, so they're really easy to drop. Oh, that was... Doggone it. That was counting as one of the Iron Man cards, and I did not realize that. Uh, how much is this guy's health? 68. We do not need two of these. Let me... I just, just realized I weakened it. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop waiting for it to get better. I think we can just finish this. I believe I have one more play, do I not? 
And I can't do this because I used all my uh, heroism. All right, I missed a trick there. Uh, that said, meh. I don't even... I don't think this is really going to do anything. Uh, I'll try, but... It's almost lethal. I'm going to try something here. I think that I've done this upgrade, but I could be wrong. No. I don't think I did. Oh, no, I did do it. So he'll, he will take more damage. It's just not enough to be lethal. So, yeah, whatever. So what's he got left? One health. Perfect. We're, we're good. Let's pass the turn. He'll do what he does. They didn't even bother doing, um, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Reinforcements. We've done it. All right. Excellent work. Now, this is a story mission, so this is phase one. Why is it that for every one of these sites we take out, it seems like two more appear in their place? Patience. Hydra certainly lives up to their name. I've hunted an actual Hydra. That was easier. Easier than this. I live up to my name, too. Hell of a prized crossbones put on your head. Runt. Too bad he never said it had to stay attached to your body. Well, too bad for you. Big words. For a dead man. Yep. You got one thing right today, Sabretooth. Heads are definitely about to roll. Oh, look. Another mangy stray. You smell wrong. Compared to him? Good point. Now I get to kill two runs with one claw. Maybe I should be paying Hydra. Okay. Take that animal down before he can hurt anyone else. Who you call me an animal, lady? Check your ears, Creed. She didn't stutter. So. I'm going to use heal right now. Uh, his health is not good. And we can get the card draw right up front. It just makes sense. It also gives me a little heroism to work with. Okay. Um, oh, his health. So Wolverine is really about chaining. Like a lot of his abilities, you know, do that. I could also use Berserk, but honestly, since you get lifesteal, I'd rather wait a turn and, like, let him take some damage. He has plenty to play already, so... Um, I'm just... toying with this a little bit. I'm gonna leave this guy alive. I'm going to use quick here. So, there's another guy down and it didn't cost us a play. So, I only have one card play left. 
And um, I have to say, I don't think this is a terrible move. Um, we can clear a pretty tough enemy out. Yeah, I know I'm leaving Sabretooth alone. We'll get to him in a minute. But I don't need a ton of guys beating the crap out of me at the same time. I could have done without him doing that. Okay. Um, I could have sworn that when we played that one, we were supposed to discard everything. Maybe I misread it. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna want to use that life um, life steal. I think this turn he took took a bit of a beating. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do this, and um, we're gonna try and get as much mileage out of that as we can. I think right now. So let's see. Um, Boom. Well, actually, boom, boom. Okay. So that should get him some health back. Never mind. Honestly, the funny thing is, it's kind of good because now it, I get value out of the life steal I'm about to do as well. Uh, okay. One. Oh, this is, hold on. This is my last for this turn. Uh, well, then I'll do this. Let's just clean this guy out and I'll still get another play. And then, realistically, I just think, you know, we hit him for 30. I get lifesteal. So I heal. And we've started working on him now. So that's fine. Okay. And there was something over in that area. Oh, it's supposed to be this motor running, and uh, that noise is quite unpleasant. All right. Let's see what kind of reinforcements, if any, come. I would love to be able to focus on Sabretooth. If they're minions, it's not a huge deal, given, you know, that I have chaining abilities and quick abilities and all that. So let's do this. Um, actually, it doesn't make sense. Uh, oh, yeah. No, I do have Berserk. I'm going to do this. I mean, I, I don't see why not, you know? So where's the one with quick? Let's go ahead and just take this guy out. Get a little health back. Yep. Okay, good. Weird that he leveled up and he's not even part of our team officially. Like he, he, I don't believe he joins after this mission, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he does. I could swear, though, that we have to meet him again later. Okay, I have two card plays left. Actually, I'm more than happy to do this. And then we will focus on him. He's probably going to use uh, Frenzy. Yeah, I figured Frenzy was about to. Win. I haven't been watching the number. It just felt like time. As with so many heroes, I do love the animations with Wolverine, like, especially when he attacks multiple guys. He's so fast with the claws, and I just love watching him tear through the battlefield and just wrecking these guys. It's amazing. Good. 
It's pretty cool when he attacks one guy, too. Alright. Uh, anything I want to get rid of? Well, I don't think I want two of these, so I'll get rid of one. But I think I'm good with Fortify. And um, I'm good with Holy Flame. We'll stick. Mm-hmm. Got some more flunkies coming in. Oh, well, there's always more flunkies coming so, in. Is he some sort of werewolf? Okay, this no, that's okay. We're gonna draw two more of his cards. I'm just gonna keep chaining these things, man. Just what I need. Fine. Hit me before I have a chance to um do all my life steal. That's the way I prefer it. I'm definitely keeping the hunter safe with all these quick cards. It's actually pretty funny to me. One thing about Wolverine, he's way better at doing damage to a lot of guys than he is massive damage against one guy. At least at this stage. I, I can't remember. There's probably cards you get later, you know, that are much more powerful. Um, we have a... Yeah, I'm just going to use this, I think. I don't need to worry about healing. Let's just do some damage. Arguably, I should have brought somebody like Blade, but... Okay. Anything I want to get rid of? Do I want... I, I actually think I'm pretty good with the slashes. I think I'm going to lose Fortify. I have a ton of heroism, and I'd rather just be able to um, attack as much as possible. Yeah, I'm, I'm really scared, dude. Okay. Kind of a bummer he moved there. I was just about to do an environmental attack. I was going to push this thing into him. Now I have to use a move to do it. So that kind of sucks. Let me think. Do I want to use two heroism to do 10 damage? Or should I use one to do 30? Okay. I'll, I'll use one to do 30. That's so weird. How close are we? Close. Come on, give me something. This is too short of lethal. Um, I can't move again, so I don't have the option of coming over here. Do I just do this, like... Can I do this? Yeah, uh, this is fine. This is fine. Hey, Ray. Okay, buddy. You gonna jump down? Okay. All right. Um, we don't want this because uh, this is the one turn. So if I do this and then end the turn, I won't get any life steal. So it's just silly. Uh, we don't need any attacks, so I'm just going to end the turn. 
Kind of sucks doing that when we have um, two plays left, but think of it as a luxury. This one has the stink of death on it. For the past filled with the suffering of innocent victims. Want it done right. Gotta do it yourself. Okay. So do we have a uh, quick anything? Yes. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. This happening. Okay, we're gonna use uh, our lower impact attack here on the minion, and then I'll focus everything for the most damage possible on him. Um, I only have one play left. He doesn't really need healing anymore. I could do this because it's more damage, but it's not much more damage and I have to throw away all my cards. And I'm actually set up pretty well for next turn, so... Actually, now that I think about it, it's not even more damage. Because um, I get to do that four times, so that's 68 damage for the, uh, the one I used. I think the other one was 64 or something like that, so... Hey, Ray. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Mm -hmm. Are they down? Gotta get, gotta get things arranged here. All right, great. Can I reach my keyboard? Thank you. Okay, turn over. Let's. I eat heroes like you for breakfast. Mm-hmm. Well, then he takes a long time with his breakfast, and he gets his ass kicked a lot. So, I mean, I know it gets repetitive, but what can I say? It works. And I love that I keep getting, you know, like the quick cards. Because it just lets me wipe out the minions, you know, get them out of the way. And I still have a bunch of attacks to use on this clown. Oh, so this one's 68 too. So it's like the exact same amount of damage I did. Um, the only difference being I didn't have to throw away my entire hand, so... Okay. okay. You're lucky that's as far as I'm taking it. So now, um, I actually think I'm just gonna use Eviscerate twice. And it's a ton of damage. And we have the heroism, so why not? Okay, one lay down. What's going on, guy? Uh, he got dazed. Well, that's fine. You know what? We'll uh, we'll do all out. We're gonna take him pretty far down. And um, hopefully we can put him down for good next turn. Don't want to get rid of any of this. I don't think so. I'm happy. Sure, sure, Sabretooth. So, is he some sort of werewolf? Charge anyway. 
doing? Not much of a hunter, are you? You'd fit right in with Logan and the rest of Xavier's housebroken little pets. Cut him again. Now hold still, Pop. This is gonna hurt. Nifty trick. Don't think he was expecting that thing around your neck to bite back. Can he heal from that too? Don't know. But I'm gonna make sure he doesn't. Yeah. Nice to meet you, too. Can't heal. Have to keep going. Sounds like you had some unexpected visitors out there. Those two beasts came out of nowhere. Who were they? Victor Creed and James Logan Howlett. But I'm sure they'd prefer to go by their current aliases. Sabretooth and Wolverine. Those two have been at each other's throats for decades. Wolverine? Then he is a werewolf? I did not sense that from either of them. Because they are mutants. Like me. You are like them? I will not be howling at the moon anytime soon, Hunter. It affects us all in different ways. There are some things you'll need to become familiar with in our post-atomic world, Hunter. Mutants being a big part of that. A blessing or a curse in the blood, depending on who you ask. I can explain further if you must know. In the meantime, I need to look into what's happening in New York. Wolverine is an honorable man, if a bit rough around the edges. Sabretooth, on the other hand, is a homicidal maniac. The fact that he's got his sights set on you is definitely not good news. Wait, you know Logan? Who do you think first told me about you? You'd be surprised how many people have found their way into these woods over the years. And once they do, they tend to find a way back. I doubt this is the last we have seen of either of them. Wonderful. It's kind of weird that he acts a little butthurt about Wolverine. And of course that conversation isn't based on, you know, like the specific results of the combat that we just had. But my God, you can't even question who carried the load in, in this particular fight. But in any fight, certainly um, Wolverine is only going to be helping him. So I don't know. Anyway. Logan and I are not exactly best friends or anything. He's more my brother, Piotr's friend. Like I said earlier, we're all mutants. Not to freak you out or anything. I know nothing of mutants. Mutants are awesome. Unfortunately, a lot of people disagree. There's this constant homo sapien versus homo superior talk, but it's so tiresome. We just want to live in peace, you know? It sounds like a complicated existence. I wouldn't have it any other way. So you and these other mutants, you all know each other from Russia? Hardly. 
We're all part of the X-Men. I mean, not currently. But I guess once you're an X-Man, you're always an X-Man. Just like a midnight sun. Hmm, I guess so. And this Sabretooth, he is a mutant. Does that make him an X-Man as well? Definitely not an X-Man. He and Wolverine go way back. Who knows what their feud was originally about. I doubt they can remember either. He has been tracking us for a bit. He was the presence I sensed at the docks. Are you sure it was him and not something else? Yes, I am sure. Yeah, he's a tough psychopath to forget. He's nasty. And I don't just mean his smell. Having Sabretooth wrapped up in all of this is another headache we don't need. I can only hope Logan handles him swiftly, before he causes too much trouble. How much do you trust this Logan person? Quite a bit, actually. He's a bit prickly, but he's dependable. Exactly how dependable? I would trust Logan with my life, the same as you. That is quite a bit of trust. I am surprised you have never spoken of him before. Logan is a good man, but he follows his own path. After this, I may not see him again for several more decades. I suppose there is nothing more to do but wait. I have a feeling we will be seeing more of Logan and Sabretooth. Oh, I'd count on it. Alrighty. So we need to talk to Blade for uh, reasons that I don't really know. Salutations. And it Logan. also looks like we have a um, opportunity at a hangout. Hunt. Blade, what is it? Caught a scent around the abbey that doesn't belong. It's faint, not enough for anyone else to notice, but it hit me again tonight. How's that dog of yours when it comes to tracking? You two up for a little hunt? I am sure Charlie could help. And I might be useful too. You can start right now. This gate won't budge for me, but maybe you can open it. Poor Blade. Never got the chance as a kid. Too risky these days in my life. I'm guessing you don't care around a lot of these. Maybe you just need to find the right dog. Haven't found a breed yet. The vamps won't eat out of spite. Oh, I see what you mean. I can still smell it. That thing is out here somewhere. as well do a little gathering while we're out here. Old Charlie, she's quite a tracker. Now, I don't know if I could have followed this on my own. This place gives me the creeps, and I've seen some stuff. Some kind of jacked up shadow hound. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we just found the bar guest. But it can't be. The what? The bar guest. Legendary demon dog of the old country. Kind of thing you'd hear stories about around the campfire. A shadow hound could easily be mistaken for a spirit, but how would it have gotten here? Good question. 
but we're not going to find the answer tonight. Let's head back before Caretaker locks the doors on us. Damn, that thing is shit. There we go, got the key. Um, there are cracks so, this, wall. this kind of opening, it can be opened, um, but not with this. You need the fourth and final word of power. And um, I don't know. Oh my God! Really? More? We should head back. Don't want caretaker to come looking for us. You coming? I have seen caretaker. <laughs> um. Me too. Okay, guys, shut up, please. Uh, I don't know for sure if we're going to do all the exploration of the Abbey grounds. Maybe that's something you can let me know how interested in you are in seeing it, but. Realistically, I would have to devote whole episodes to it, and I'm not exaggerating. Um, it takes a while to do all that, and uh, it's quite an undertaking. So, I just don't know that it's going to be very engaging to watch. So, you know, then what do I do? Do I do the exploration, but I do it off camera? Uh, I don't know. All right, so we got leveled up with Charlie, which is cool. Okay, so let me think about this. Um, I, I guess I'll I'll try and for us not dying. try and level up with Tony. Um, you know, it's really funny. I remember in the pre-release publicity, and maybe I have this wrong, but I swear. They said Tony's favorite hangout would be playing cards. In all the hangouts I've ever been offered with Iron Man, not one has ever been playing cards. I've gotten that with other people, never him. Yes. See, and you, you do get different options. Meditation, playing video games, have a drink. You're looking well What's here. his? Yeah, see, like, I don't know. I part, part of what I'm trying to do here, just to be clear. These guys don't enjoy all uh, activities equally. And if you pick an activity that they don't like then you don't really get a bonus or you get a very, very small bonus. So if you want to actually get something out of the hangout, you have to pick something that they'll like. I feel pretty good about Dr. Strange liking meditation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we got nine. That's pretty good. Um, where are we at with him? We're ready to level up. So that's cool. Okay, uh, what is this? Bring Robbie on the next mission. Yeah, probably I won't get credit even if I do bring him tomorrow. Spider-Man wants to talk to me. Let's see what that's about. I have something for you. A roll of quarters? Components for shop class. Eh, almost as good. Okay. Yep, I thought I saw this. Oh, Jack Essence, even better. Alright, I think we can go to bed. Hunter, if you're receiving this message, please come to the central console as soon as possible. That's... Odd. Dr. Banner, you've re-emerged. I'm sorry, Hunter. Probably not the best impression of me. Uh, but now I'm back. And we are happy to have you back, Doctor. We were worried for a brief moment. Thank you for your concern, but I'm fine. 
doing better than our comm system was. I was knocked offline by a spike in gamma radiation that tore through the electromagnetic spectrum. Bad day to be a Manhattan cell phone tower. But don't worry, I've isolated the problem here. No more blackouts, I promise. But I am concerned about the other ripple effects this gamma radiation could have caused. That's why I would like to scan you and see if the shifts in energy have affected you. Anything, if you think it will help your research. Immensely. It's quite possible it can give us a clue on how to counter this gamma shift. Just stand very still. You shouldn't feel a thing. And we're done. Once I analyze this scan, we'll all be much wiser. Thank you, Hunter. Go back to sleep. Interesting that he needed to do that in the middle of the night, isn't it? Avengers house guests are hogging the comms to chat with their best buddy, Bruce Banner. Oh, look, it's Nico complaining about the Avengers. I'm shocked. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff in here. Um, yeah, so shop class tonight. Okay, so we can't do any research. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? What do you think? Change the cost. <sighs> How long did you say you were exposed to this thing? Eh, it's probably fine. Well, I don't own one, so I'll take this. One of these is already upgraded. The other one is not. I don't think I've upgraded Soul Blast at all. I'll go ahead and take this, I guess. Uh, I mean, I could, I could do blast. I've been thinking I may really try to, um, kind of level up Iron Man and develop him. But, um, I don't know. I can't, I can't upgrade everybody's stuff at the same time. I'll just stick with what I was thinking. So, what is this? We don't have enough money. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, you got to really, really watch um, where you spend your credits. I would like to be able to make hero abilities. So the way that works is that as long as I have one copy of a card, I can make another. But you need blueprints to do it. Common blueprint for common card, rare blueprint for rare cards, and so on. Um, and blueprints don't grow on trees. So... You, you can't just, you know, run around like crazy replicating them. Uh, later, as you get into the game more and more, there are ways to uh, get blueprints, as I recall. Let's spar. So what do we get? Oh, we have to pay some money. Um, and yeah, nothing, nothing special. So I don't think it really matters a ton who I take here. I guess I can show you a couple of things. Gain four resisted mission start. That's not bad. If you can beat Carol in a straight fight, I'll let you skip training. Good luck with that. No pain, no gain. 
So what did that do for me? On KO, gain one counter. I like that. Alright. Just give me a target. Okay. Alright. Um let's go to central. Look at that. Or map. not. We've got emergencies all over the globe. Hydra is staying true to its multi-headed namesake. They are currently active in New York, Paris, Moscow, Singapore, Los Angeles. The list keeps growing. They caught us off guard. We'll put them back in check. With what, Tony? Avenger forces are spread thin as it is. Temporarily. We're back in contact with Banner and we still have the tower. And that's supposed to make us feel better? We thought we had the Sanctum until we didn't. I'm sorry, Stephen, but your overrated metaphysical library is not my state-of-the-art militarized tower. It will hold... Hold what? Your ego? You'll need a taller tower. Oh, coming from the man who literally calls himself Supreme. Are you too finished yet? Every second we waste arguing, Hydra takes another bite out of yeah, our ass. Fine. Then let's stop arguing and take a bite out of their ass. Yeah, l let's just stop arguing. All taken care of. So he did his hero ops. Rookies, I place. Send them out for yeah. the experience. I, but I think we're past that. I do not love that ability. All right, we do get another uh, hero op. So we can have a rare ability. You know what? Um, I want to bring him. <sighs> Let's send Blade. I'm fine with that. Or, or am I? Hold on. Oh, I'll send Magic. Magic, as you work on her, gets pretty darn powerful. Okay. That Lilith doesn't what does he me. want? That was quite a heated discussion between you, caretaker, and the doctor. What can I say? I will always fight to keep the faith. Hydra may be on the rise, but they will never rise above the tower. I hope you are right, but I am not sure Lilith is intimidated by much in the modern world. Then we'll just have to show her. We're the new hotness, and she's messing with the wrong people. At least I'm back in contact with Banner. That's a relief. I wasn't so worried about the tower as I was about his mental health. And if he's holding up, so will the rest of us. All right. I think I can actually look at the missions now. Uh, okay, so we're not going to go here. And I think we, we may actually try and just do some missions here for a bit. You know, um, I actually kind of like this. So I'm telling you, you're constantly running low in this game on the essences. And it, I find heroic essence. That's true. Most of all. Um, now these two might be interesting because they're both rated hard. Now, this is separate and apart. I think I've explained this before. The separate and apart from the difficulty that you're playing on, like for the entire game. These missions are hard. This one is considered easy. Honestly, most of them you just get normal. But um, the hard ones I find difficult, to, even when you're playing on the normal setting, um, again, at the game level, uh, the hard ones are damn near impossible. Uh, so anyway, though, I think I'd really like to get this and then maybe since we're really low on credits, you know, we do this one. Um, you know, we'll see, but I'm thinking and see this one would help me get some rare cards over at Carol's workstation. We can send people on those hero ops. So we may want to work some of these. This would help me get my research up and so on. Uh, so obviously we would bring Captain Marvel on this one and then we would you know, maybe bring Tony. I don't know. I think we have our plan though. We'll go do this one. And believe me, when they say easy, it, it's still not a cakewalk. It's just not quite as bad 
as some. And honestly, I if I remember right, usually it has more to do with, um, yeah, see, like we have to protect the device. And for some reason, they consider that easier, even though I've played some of those that are really hard. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. But thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.